Hi, my name is Hunter Yoon, and in today's lesson we are going to be learning about quadratic functions. A quadratic function is a polynomial function with one or more variables in which the highest degree term is of the second degree. So pretty much that just means that we are going to be using this formula of f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And so this formula is going to appear whenever you deal with quadratic functions. And specifically today in this lesson, we're going to be covering this problem of how long will it take the ball to reach a height of 200 feet. And so we're basically figuring out when a ball is thrown, how many seconds will it take for the ball to reach 200 feet. And so for this problem, I have a diagram showing exactly what is happening here. So from this point, we want to figure out how long it would take the ball to travel in seconds. And we want to know how long it would take to reach 200 feet. And so for this problem, we're going to be using the equation of h of t, h representing our height, which is given to us. So h equals 200. We'll keep note of that. And t representing our time, which is what we're going to be solving for. And so the equation we're going to be working with is h of t equals negative 16t squared plus 112t plus 40. And so basically what we're doing here is since h equals 200, we'll be plugging that in. So now our equation will now look like 200 equals negative 16t squared plus 112t plus 40. So now from here, we're going to be solving for t. And in order to do that, we're going to have to shift our variables to one side and move our constants, our numbers, to the other side. And so to do that, we would subtract 200 from both sides, giving us 0 minus 16t squared plus 112 minus 160. From here, we would have to simplify our quadratic equation that we have going on here. It follows the it follows the same formula as earlier. Here I'll write this in a different color. AX squared plus BX plus C. So now when we simplify this it should give us negative 16 outside the parentheses and inside is T squared minus 7 T plus 10. And so now from here, we can also simplify even more with this because it follows the same format. So now I'll use a different color to represent this and this should give us a more broken down version and it should come out to be negative 16 parentheses t minus 2 and another parentheses t minus 5. So now from here we would have to see which ones can we make equal 0. So 16 we cannot because negative 16 is negative 16 we can't change anything about that but we can use t minus 2 and t minus five. So let's use t minus two first. We can set it to equal zero. 
add 2 to both sides, t equals 2. So now this is our first answer, t equals 2, 2 seconds. And our second equation, t minus 5, add 5 to both sides, t equals 5. And that also gives us 5 seconds. And so now these are our two answers, 2 seconds and 5 seconds. So now what this tells us is it will take the ball 2 seconds and 5 seconds to reach 200 feet. So now to sort of explain what I mean by this, I will bring up the graph. And basically what is happening here is, so now that we know that it will take 2 seconds and 5 seconds, we can see here that the graph has this curve where it reaches a point and this is called the vertex and we can also see that these points right here no matter where they are they will always hit the x-axis twice and so us getting two answers tells us that it will take the ball two seconds let's say this is the two second mark and five seconds let's say this is the five second mark and so now this tells us that it will take two seconds and five seconds to reach 200 feet in the air